Okay, we are going to simplify this expression until we get it down to the point where it is a single logarithm. And the first thing I would like to do is distribute the 1 half. So we have 1 third natural log of x plus 2 cubed plus 1 half natural log of x minus 1 half natural log of x squared plus 3x plus 2 quantity squared. Okay, now we're going to use the power property of logarithms, which is going to allow us to bring these numbers out front and bring them up and make them powers inside the logarithm. So for the first one, it's going to be the natural log of x plus 2 to the third power to the one-third power. And if you have something to the third power and to the one-third power, you multiply those and it's just to the first power. For the next one, we're bringing up the one-half, and so we're going to have x to the one-half power. We can write x to the one-half power as square root x. And for the third one, we're bringing the one-half up, making it a power, and multiplying it by the power of two that was already there. One-half times two is one. So we have minus the natural log of x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay. So now what we want to do is use other properties of logarithms, and we have the product property, which tells us that if we have a log plus a log, we can combine those into the log of the product. So that would be the natural log of the product, x plus 2 square root x. Okay, and we still have minus the other logarithm. Next, we're going to use the quotient property that tells us if we have a log minus a log, we can change it into the log of the quotient. So we're going to get the natural log of the quotient x plus 2 times the square root of x over x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now you may have noticed that you actually can factor that denominator. You can factor x squared plus 3x plus 2. Let's do that, and it factors into x plus 2 times x plus 1. So let's go ahead and cancel the x plus 2s. So our final answer as a single logarithm is the natural log of the square root of x over x plus 1.